Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War The English Campaign. Last time we left off, Mr. John Watkins, son of Ralph, managed to lead the army, quite successfully might I add, and uh, successfully took Zaragoza from the Portuguese and drove them off our borders and now only the Spanish uh, are left close to us. So, without further ado, we had to just do a bit of dibble dabbles and uh, yes, things are looking rather grim up here in uh, Italy. We have been driven out. The lands that we took off the Milanese are now being took off us by the Hungarians and we at the moment are not in the best position to uh, to stop them. We still have Rome, but it's only a matter of time before that crumbles to dust, I imagine. Uh, so yes, we need to start pressing on with the campaign against the Hungarians, and it will start. Bern will start commencing the uh, recruitment of a force to try and beat back the Hungarians. Similarly, we are going to have to look to Ajaccio to also start the recruitment of a force to beat back the damn Hungarians. We're going to have to start pushing, pushing, pushing. I have uh, abandoned Milan with Tostig Longchamp. He is going to march to Bern to try and take that army. He is only young, 21. He will command an army against the Hungarians. And also, I think it's only fitting that John Watkins sail across and also be involved in taking an army and leading against the Hungarians. So those two young generals, Tostig Longchamp, and son of Ralph, John Watkins, will be the two spearhead generals that will be responsible for liberating Italy under the English banner. And it will take some effort, it will take some time, but it will be worth it. So yes, Hungary, you may take Genoa. You may march up on here and take Milan and think that the English are crumbling beneath your mighty fist, but rest assured, plans are afoot to end your reign of terror. It's only a matter of time. It's a good job I am a patient man. This does not bother me in the slightest that they are taking a few of my settlements, because I know in the long term it will be me that is having the final say. The last laugh. Milan, with their pitiful effort of Naples, the only uh, city they have left, that will fall eventually, but I think rather than sending forces down there and splitting my uh, army strength, I think we should just land those two armies, led by the two people I've mentioned, land them here, North Italy, and just bulldoze our way through these lands and start pushing south, and then once Italy is liberated under our banner, we shall reassess the situation. Um, we're going to have to send out spies, send out one of those splinter cells with the uh, spies and assass assassins and diplomats and just get a, a bit of a better feel for just how far this Hungarian Empire expands because I cannot see past Venice. I don't know how, how much uh, strength they've got further this way. Um, they must have quite a bit to be perfectly honest with you. If we take a look at the diplomacy side, of the, the, uh, the faction ranking side of things, uh, Hungary uh, overall ranking top five. Yeah, Hungary are the second most powerful uh, faction out there. I mean, look at us, we're far above and beyond. Although Hungary wouldn't agree with you at this moment in time. They think they've got us uh, quaking in our boots. I beg to differ. So yes, um, all our ships are going to their respective uh, respective positions. He's coming down there. He's already watching over Ireland. We've got this watching there. Boats up there in northern lands. Down in the Mediterranean, we have a few ships. One, two. We've got one just pinned in there by bloody Byzantines. One down here. Let's just. You want us gone? Looking out then for Portuguese boats. Ready, Not quite in the ideal positions, but they at least have improved our presence in the Mediterranean. <coughs> so that's that. Cagliari has a boatload of forces here that are probably not necessary. I mean they do have Byzantine armies in our land and yes, whilst they are neutral 
we shall not attack them. But if they all of a sudden decide to besiege Cagliari and turn enemies against us, then we will have to uh, uh, have to change the situation. And then we have papal states here. So there's a few niggly things that need to be sorted out, but uh, I'm trying to focus on the bigger picture for now, which is the Hungarians. So my main efforts will be mobilizing the two armies to march uh, into a full-scale campaign in northern Italy against these Hungarians. And they're going to wish they didn't really trifle in English affairs. But we need to also focus on strengthening or rather slowing down any possible threats from uh, the Spanish into our land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start commencing the building of these forts to try and halt the Spanish progression. Buggeration. Okay, forget that for now. Hamburg and Frankfurt. Right, Frankfurt has a whole heap of troops here. But it looks like it needs for some reason. I wonder if we can afford to spare some of those your will, sire. Sire, your will, sire. for Hamburg. Let's have a look and take a couple My of Lord. these. Sire, your will, sire. Sire, orders. Should we try that? As you wish. So I'll leave them a few for now, but to sire. By your command. Since Hamburg is the regional garrison for this area, we'll just sort of put some troops in there to build up its forces, and also in here. Um, yes, your highness. There was a couple of troops. Your will, sire. There As we go. You wish. Okay, so there we go. Just a few little things that need sorting, but we we will get there slowly. And once it's all set up and running smoothly, it will be a lot easier to manage. Uh, okay. My lord. If I did that. Orders. Ooh, no, that's, As you wish. that's taking it too far, it seems. Okay. So there we go. Everything else in the sort of heart of things is, is fine. We've just added some more troops to the list of our garrisons there and there. Burn is still uh, just retraining. Uh, we will sort out to uh, not to construct to recruit for the army. We've got to one, two, three lots of archers. Okay. Let's get some more. One, two, three more. Four more. Four. One, two, three, seven. Okay, and uh, we've got a couple of horses. Let's get a couple more horses. Fine, start building that army up. Okay, so yes, forts. <laughs> uh, let's try again, shall we? I'm trying to think of the best place to put a fort. Where the enemy... Hail my king! So how do you think up here? Your will, sire. Orders. Oh, are they closer? Command me, sire. My king. Yes, noble sire. My lord. Your will, sire. Orders. Okay. I like the look of this place here. Stops them coming over the bridge and then they have to go round the outside there, but then it's hardly a bloody detour, is it really, I suppose? Yes, my liege. We can go no further, my lord. Okay. At once, my liege. Put one there the in the mountain pass. pass. We'll have to do for now. Uh, we've got two, two, and two, and we just need a couple of spears and uh, another unit of archers. I think that'll yes. do us. There we go. Five and ten. Okay, there we are. 
And if we stick another one. Command me, sire. Yes. And we'll take your will, sire. Uh, one and My lord. two. Orders. My king. Command me, sire. An order. Sire. My lord. Sire. I've tried whipping them, sire, but the men are spent. Command me, oh, sire. they're feudal knights and they're English knights. I'm wondering why they couldn't merge. <laughs> anyway, yes. An order. He will then build one there. And that should cover us for our borders on this side. So that's that should do us for that side. Right. <laughs> it took me so long to do that. Okay, so yes, down here we have the settlements taken, Zaragoza, the castle is there, two forts in the in the little mountain passes, and that should give us ample protection on this border. And uh, we're not going to quite campaign into this area just yet, because I think it's more appropriate for us to take on the Hungarians, and I don't want to start f attacking on multiple fronts again. So we'll keep, we'll, all we'll do is we'll just build a defensive position down here, just to uh, keep an eye and and uh, repel any attacks from the Spanish or Portuguese. That was what's going to happen down here. Bordeaux, Toulouse and Angers are only one turn away from being converted into cities. Uh, as we know, Genoa's under attack. And the final piece of the puzzle is down here. You are late, my king. Is here. They wish they'd never been born, sire. We shall slaughter them! Damn you, Danes! Yes, you sire. shall have to wait to crush the enemy. until next time to fall. They'll wish they'd never been born, sire! Yes, sire! Moving to crush the enemy! Where to, sire? <laughs> I pressed it too many times. How silly of me. Right, so yes, there we go. I think everything is, is running slightly smoothly. <laughs> slightly smoothly? Oh yes, and yes, oh, he's coming down into there. And job done. In our regional garrison it only makes sense that we have a general and uh, welcome Anthony Stewart to Hamburg. My lord. So there we go. Uh, that's the end of the set of updates for Medieval 2 Total War. Not too bad, the computer hasn't crashed this time, which is good. Is it finally sorting itself out? Who knows? But yes, let me know what you think of the new direction that England is taking. And uh, if you've got any suggestions to make for the uh, new king to ponder over, if uh, you know, let us know. Put the comments on the video as per usual. But yes, I look forward to the next set of updates when the battle with Hungary will start to intensify. But until then, I'll see you soon.